Given the quality and talent here, yes, it's pretty amazing that I had the opportunity to play on one of those courts and win this cup. Uh, we had a great crowd that came down to support us, but I was definitely feeling a mixture of excitement and serious nerves. So all the practicing is done now. I'm at court five at Devonshire Park. I'm not going to lie, I'm really nervous. But you know what? It's time to play tennis. I was partnered with Jake from the Daily Telegraph, and we were up against journalists from the Brighton Argus and Eastbourne Herald. We have plenty of local support willing us on. Maybe it was just the nerves, but the first part of the set certainly didn't go our way. As we got further into it, though, our confidence and teamwork grew. And it wasn't long before we were playing for the match. I would keep doing what she does for a career, but definitely enjoy the sport that she's clearly got the bug for now. So keep going right through the summer and just keep practicing. And I'm sure she'll stay in tennis for an awful long time now. You know, it's tough for everyone here because all the pros are expecting all the fans to flock to their courts. They all came here for you. But you did a great job. Not easy playing on here. Uh, it's not. I think you did a really good job. Glossy. So well done. Thank Congratulations. You, Thank you. Very good effort. Thank well you. done. Thank you very and much. there's the trophy. Well done. Yeah, I'm to have to up. Well Ready? 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 Rachel, you were an amateur, you'd hardly picked up a racket, now you're a champion. They're very proud of you, you must be very pleased. Well, I'm, I'm just relieved, really. <laughs> yeah, I had lots of help, of course, uh, from my lovely coach, Tom, uh, at the Lawn Tennis uh, uh, Club down in Tunbridge Wells. And also, the weather was perfect for us, perhaps just a little bit windy, but we had lots of sunshine around, and those winds were around uh, 10 to 50 miles per hour from a northeasterly direction. But they are going to be easing off a little bit as we go into tonight. So today, lots of sunshine around and clearer skies. Into tonight, though, we're going to start to see more cloud cover around and also some fairly light patchy rain and drizzle for a time, too. So the reason for that, we've got this fairly weak weather front that's going to be sinking its way southwards. Today, we had highs in the top teens, low 20s. Down in Eastbourne, it's been highs of around 21, 22 degrees. Into tonight, it's going to be staying relatively mild. Temperatures dropping to around 12 or 13 degrees. So as we start the day tomorrow, lots of cloud cover around. Initially, maybe some light patchy rain and drizzle, but that clears out of the way. And again, really quite similar to today, it should be brightening up by the afternoon. If anything, uh, the winds are going to be a little bit lighter than today. Still from a northerly direction, around 5 to 10 miles per hour. And by the afternoon, temperatures rising again nicely. Uh, top teens, low 20s, highs around 21 or 22 degrees as your high. So through tomorrow night, it's going to be staying mostly dry, cloud and clearer skies and temperatures in a way quite similar to tonight. Lows of around 9 or 10 degrees in more rural spots, but holding up to around 11 or 12 degrees along the coast. So for Thursday, if anything, it's probably going to be the warmest day of the week. We've got high pressure out to the west of us. It's going to be staying settled. Decent spells of sunshine around and temperatures again creeping up top teens and low 20s. Always just a little bit cooler along the coast. Highs there of around 17 or 18 degrees, but further inland we're going to be seeing highs of around 23 or 24 degrees. Into Friday it's going to start to see a little, feel a little bit fresher. The chance that you could just see uh, some outbreaks of fairly patchy rain for Friday. Temperatures in the top teens are heading towards the weekend. It's going to be settled. So for tomorrow, a bit of a cloudy start, but it's been brightening up nicely. Thursday particularly feeling pretty warm. Rachel, thank you. That was a feast of sporting excellence, <laughs> it wasn't it? Was, yeah.